laid the green egg. Look at it. It's so cute. is freezing together. That's how cold it is out here. That my nose is freezing to itself. It is eight degrees outside. I'm gonna check on this rabbit. Cause he likes to stomp out his straw. Look at him, he's alive. I did not have high hopes for him this morning because he stomps out his straw every single night before before he goes to bed and you know that's cold and that right that's a cold night to go without the dog rabbits are pretty resilient but man last night's weather eight degrees got below that last night it's eight degrees this morning with the sun up so I'm glad to see he's alive this morning he didn't have any straw in here when I got down here so what I know, it's really cold, I know. chickens we used it we learned real quick that it does it's not any better than just giving them lots of straw in fact we found that our chickens had four more frostbite with the heat lamp than they do without it but it's pretty cold fresh straw in a chicken coop You ready? <laughs> we got a mix of these other regular chicken pellets. And in here, we got a nice uh, game board. kinds of stuff so we give them a scoop of this. Kinda keeps the variety. And it has good protein and stuff in it. Or quail, that's actually our quail's main source of food. So we just we share the love. And that right.
Okay. Green egg. So you remember, you might remember, um, we went over this, over the summertime, we actually hatched some eggs from our own uh, mixed flock here. And so we have been patiently awaiting the green egg. <laughs> And this is a really, uh, this is a really dark uh, green egg. This is not like the light Easter egg or kind of greens that you see. This is actually a real olive egg. Um, not sure if you can see or not. Let's see. So it's a dark olive green egg. And, and so a lot of people are wondering, well, how did you get that? Like, what did you do to get this awesome green egg? You know, we have had the genetics right under our noses for years now and uh, we just have really not taken advantage of it until recently and so my rooster daddy rooster got together with mama hens and we made olive eggers and here is how we did it so the first thing you need to create an olive acre is you need a blue egg layer and a brown egg layer so when you made a blue egg layer, whether it's a rooster or a hen, to a brown egg layer, again, whether it's a rooster or a hen, you get your first generation olive acre. So typically it's a really light green colored egg for your generation one olive acre. Now this is actually a generation two olive acre, which is why it's so dark. Um, what I did in this case is I took my rooster, who is a Generation 1, also known as G1, Olive Acre, and I mated him to all of my hens who are brown egg layers. Now my hens have different stages of brown. Some of them are really light brown, some of them are a pinkish color, others are just your regular dark brown barred rock kind of color. Because I mated my Generation 1 Olive Acre back to my brown egg laying hens, we created the generation two olive acre. Now with each generation, so I could take this, this egg layer, collect her eggs um, from a brown egg layer rooster, so from a rooster that would typically have brown egg layers, um, and I would get a much darker green. Or I could take her and mate her back to a blue egg layer and I would get more of a teal color or I can mate her back to an olive acre and you can either get an olive egg or you'll get a Kalamata brown, kind of like a tannish color. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of different things uh, that you can play around with with genetics for olive acres. We're really excited. We've been waiting for weeks uh, for our little girl to start laying. Uh, she was actually Broody Mama back here. I'm not sure if you can see her in her... Oh, no, you can't see her. She's in, she's in that nesting box right there. Anyhow, she is our Rudy Mama here. She um, hatched out these eggs. I'll link it up here um, this summer. And so we were excited to see what kind of egg layers we would get from her. She only hatched one female. The rest were, you know, roosters. But, um, well, she only hatched two of our eggs. So one was a female, one was a rooster. We hatched some other eggs this summer, but they were all roosters. So... Uh, we're just kind of getting rid of those and um, but we are keeping one not sure if he's an, a blue layer or an olive acre or what he is but I guess genetics will kind of tell yeah so that's how we got the green egg I love it it's so cute now we are experimenting with colors so um, this is our first year we are hatch we are hatching um, so I'm actually going to put a new batch into the incubator very soon um, we are selling hatching eggs uh, when we start, started home studying that's what we did we sold hatching eggs and we sold chicks um, that's what we jumped head, head first into this past year the past two years we really haven't been doing that I just really needed to simplify and uh, not have a lot of work on my plate and so now we're kind of started getting back started getting back into that so we do have hatching eggs for sale for locals only right now um, since this is an experimental year for us uh, we know obviously what they are going to lay but there will be different levels of that um, so $15 for a dozen of hatching eggs for locals. We already, we've actually already sold several dozen um, since announcing that this week. Um, but 
We might consider shipping uh, in the springtime once it warms up. I just don't want eggs to freeze right now. Um, but again, it's an experimental year, which is why we're, we're selling them for so cheap right now. And we're only selling them as we have them. Um, we will be hatching eggs in the springtime. So, you know, come March, I am going to be hatching eggs more often. So if you prefer chicks and you're local, then you can get chicks that way. But this is just a fun year for us. We're not like, oh, we have the best olive acres in the world. You know, no. This is just fun. This is us sharing our blessing with you. If you guys are local and want to try it out, want to try hatching eggs or want to try your hand at some chicks, olive acre chicks, different levels of green, guys. It's not all going to be this color. It's, it's going to be different colors. So that's how we got all olive acre. You match a blue he blue egg layer to a brown layer, whether it's a rooster or a hen, and you get an olive acre. Each year that you breed those uh, genes together, you get darker green eggs. Uh, if it's a really dark brown egg layer, you're going to get really dark green eggs. So each generation will be better and better for you. That's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, if you like this video, and you like our channel, please subscribe. Uh, YouTube is doing this really mean thing where they, if you're inactive on a channel or if they think that you're not a good fit, they unsubscribe you. Um, actually, it's happened to me several times on a lot of popular channels. Like, I was unsubscribed from Hope's Homestead, Off Grew with Doug and Stacy. Um, I was unsubscribed from a bunch of different other ones. I can't remember, but I do remember those two. So please subscribe if you have not already, and happy homesteading.